Welcome to Lecture 5 in Module 1. This lecture is dealing with arranging panels and panel groups. This is not going to take very long to do, uh, but as you all know, by now I have the gift to gab, so who knows how long. Anyways, let's just take a look at this, all right? The panels that I'm talking about are the ones that are on the right-hand side. All right, it's these guys over here, and right now you can see, as from a previous uh, lecture, that uh, we have the navigator panel sitting uh, right here. Nested in with the navigator is the histogram panel. And that's this guy right here. Here's our histogram. The histogram actually tells us, uh, in a graphical sense, where the pixels lie in our image and that histogram basically goes from shadow end to highlight end and we can see that we have a nice even distribution although that has no hill of beans difference with the image i mean this image just happens to have a nice even distribution but based on the image maybe we won't have you know information going all the way across the whole thing anyways i digress um, these are called a group all right, the navigator and histogram together. Down here we have adjustments and styles. And then down here we have your typical group that everybody usually has open, as, uh, I would say all the time, is your layers, your channels, and your paths group. All right, now you can also see that I have some other panel uh, icons, if you will, running down the left-hand side of the main panel strip. Okay, if I were to click on one of these icons here, as an example, this would be the history panel. If I click on that, you will see anything related to the history panel, but nested in with that group is, and you can see, there's got those little dividing lines here, nested in with that group by default is the actions panel. You can see I have all of those actions going on over there. All right, if I want to put these guys back, I guess I could click on that but also I could click on this little double-headed headed arrow thing there. Now, something else I wanted to point out, that all panels have these little things here, all right? These four little horizontal lines with a downward pointing arrow is known as the panel options menu. And if I click on that, I will get some options in a contextual based menu. If I click on this to come back over to here and come over to, I'm not sure, let's go over to the color thing here. You can see that I have many other options. So based on the, wow, look at all this. Based on the panel that I have selected, I have different options. All right, going along there. If I come over here and I'm in my layers panel, I come across to the layers option menu, and you can see I have the option to create a new layer, duplicate, create a new group, and all that kind of stuff. If I'm in my channels, you can see I have a different set of options. And if I'm in my paths, you can see that I would have yet a different set again. All right, so that's just kind of a little bit uh, about these guys. Now, uh, if you find that your panels are occupying a little bit too much space, in other words, you have a, a, a multi-layered uh, Photoshop document where you have layer upon layer upon layer and you can't see them all, and you end up with a scroll bar coming down the side here, and you say, you know, I really need a little bit more space above things. Well, what you can do is, you know how I just click on one or the other to show the panel, but if you double click, you can collapse the panel, and if I double click this one, I can collapse those panels, and then I can put my cursor at the bottom of this panel and I can expand that down to show more of what's going on there. All right, so now as you can see that my panel groups are different than yours. So what I want to do is I want to go under the window menu and I want to reset my uh, panels to the default. Now, when we click on this, well, first of all, before I do that, if I am looking for a panel and I don't see it over here anywhere, what I would then do is come over to the window menu and take a look and see what uh, is actually 
showing up here. All right, so you can see that I have all these different items here, but the only one that is actually showing right now is the layers. All right, and if I come over here and click on channels, and then come back over to this window, you see now channels is selected and it's got the check mark, but the layers does not because in that group I have the channels as opposed to layers selected. Okay, so if I click on that and if I double click on that to expand that and double click on that to expand that, and then I come under the window menu, you're going to see that not only do I have the layers, all right, a tick mark beside layers, which is over here. I have a tick mark beside navigator, which is up here, and it is expanded and showing. And I have a tick mark beside styles, because that is the one that I have showing over here. All right, so if I'm looking for something that's not visible at this point in time, all I have to do is come over to the window menu and choose one of these options. So I'm going to come over here and choose, as an example, um, well, I'm going to choose color, all right? And I'm going to click on color because it's in the tiny little icon menu down here, and then it just kind of pops out. If I come back over to here and click on that, it should send it back. So you know that there's a couple of ways that we can send these uh, panels back to where they came from. All right, now, again, if I come underneath here and if I decide that I want to... Uh, reset my uh, my panels and all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking that I could probably come under uh, the workspace and I can come down to Essentials, which is the default. Right now I have the photography one selected, but there are many different things. So I can come back over here and I'm going to choose Essentials and watch what happens to my panels on the right hand side. See how they've kind of changed, and by default, I have my swatches as opposed to color. I have adjustments and styles, and I have my layers, channels, and paths. Oh my! Uh, up here, I have my history, I have my properties, and this guy here is my tool presets, and that is what the essentials is all about. Now, I don't know if you notice this, but this also changed as well. So they've given us, Adobe has given us an option to change our panel sets right here in the options bar as opposed to, so if I go back over to this one here, now I'm back over to what I had before. Rather than come over here, come into here, and then come down into this kind of stuff, all I have to do is come over here and choose from here. And I can reset photography, and now it's back to what I originally had set up as opposed to all these other little um, menus popping out over and over and over again. All right, so uh, what I've just shown you is how to work with that. Notice with my adjustments, I don't have anything over there. So um, what I might want to do is drag this guy out completely and put him by himself. Now, uh, I'm gonna say, let's choose as an example, the info panel. Well, if I click, hold and drag, I can bring the info panel out. It's just this little guy here. So I click on that to expand them. And then I can say, you know, I wanna put my adjustments panel and my info panel and possibly even my clone stamp guy, all right? I want to put all of them together and then put them back inside here. So what I do is I click and hold on the info tab. I drag this over and as soon as I get close enough, you should see, all right, you can see the blue, the fading and the blue and the highlighting that's going on. If I release my mouse now, they are what we call docked together. And I can do the same thing with my adjustments. I just come over to here and just move around until you see the first highlight and then a second later you'll see the blue highlight and release and now you have all these guys so now what you do is you grab by the group bar across the top there and then what you can do is come in here and it just you see the double line in between and I release and now I've got them sitting in there if I had gone with the initial thing I probably would have nested them in with these guys here generally I like to keep about three together all right, in the logical sequence that makes sense to me, but I know people that have five and six together and they just, you know, 
toggle between this and that and this and that and all that kind of stuff. So you can make your own, all right? Um, all you have to do is to make your own and say, okay, Navigator, uh, I'm going to use the Navigator. I'm going to have the histogram, and I'm going to move the info panel up into there. So I have those three together. And then I'm going to take my properties and put that in with my adjustments and my clone stamp. I'm going to take out of there. And I'm just going to come over here and bring it in. And I'm going to put it down here so it docks itself as a tiny little guy down there. So now I have this and I have that. I have this set up. This has changed, definitely has changed from what I had before. And what I can do is come from the to the drop down and I can choose to set up a new workspace. Right? And that will cover in the next video.